that's an interesting point actually about Peter Romani. I mean, he's he's not this sort of like Hulk of a specimen for the modern back row. I mean, he would have had stints out in the wing for Khan. He was he landed out there a couple of times for Munster, I think, in emergency situations. Uh, but you know, there was a point made about Ty Byrne during the week, for example, that like his uh, ability to read the game is almost born of like research and an understanding and putting in work off the field, if you like. And I get the impression Omani is similar because like I I grew up down the road from him he's lived rugby breathed it for his entire life but, but I think a lot of people write him off like so mm. a lot of people write him off because he's not steamrolling people and because he's not absolutely smashing people in the fence so people always go oh yeah you look you know there's Jack Conan he's you know he's a much better carrier he's more powerful but like when it comes to the crunch and you want somebody to turn up week in week out in international rugby Pete usually nine out of ten times will do that for you, and I think that's why he's always there thereabouts and vice captain also. So um, yeah, for me, I think he's a shoe in when it comes to the back row. Mm. And that's the yeah. thing. I think a lot of people you ask them, "What's your best iron back row?" They'll pick the three strongest ball carriers. Yeah. What's the best yeah. back three? They'll pick the three best attacking players individually. Um, but there, you, you know, Stephen, there's so much more to it. You mentioned the line out mm. defence. That's huge. You mentioned winning line out uh, ball on your own throw as well. Absolutely massive. Omani is a guy you, you saw the smarts for that turnover against Glasgow to, where he sends Stander in to take out the latch player. Little things like that. He's latching onto guys getting them through holes. He's holding width at times intelligently. He's got a, a good handling ability as well and, and they're probably the lesser noticed details. I wouldn't say on seen but they're lesser noticed that he consistently contributes like we go through the rook stats very often and he's always up the top of that he's always delivering good quality hits through the course of the 60 or 80 minutes whatever he plays so I think he has a massive role to play there and I think his line out ability uh, the balance there is really important we'll probably talk about Australia later on their back row hasn't had that line out option they've really struggled at their line out so I think these smaller details probably tend to get less notice and they're really important it's, it's, a, it's a really good balance and people always come up to me and say about oh the back row of myself Jimmy Heaslip and Sean O'Brien oh it was brilliant but like between the three of us none of us were brilliant line out operators so Jimmy always used to step in on five man line outs and five man defensive line outs if somebody like Pete was in there and you had either myself and Sean or Jamie and Sean or whoever playing then I think the balance is a lot better and yeah, we might have been brilliant going forward and m- making big hits and getting turnovers, but it's just finding that small, that small couple of percent that's going to beat the opposition in big games. And I think Pete, you know, deserves a lot of credit for being able to slip into that role.